So guys, it's your boy, it is a review of Naruto Shippuden, episode 462. This, one of the last few episodes I have watched, because you know, I was like, you know what, I'm going back, this is going back to Twitter, I'm going to watch it. Because I haven't really watched Naruto Weekly ever since the fucking good old days, which is really sad, because, you know, I'm all kind of... Well, I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna cut up with the manga, so I watch the use of you know watching the anime. It was just gonna go back into filler, and then canon, and then filler, and then canon, and then filler, and then canon, and then, and then yeah. This fucking episode, it opens up so many things. Cause I was not expecting. They go into more detail. About the plan that the Black Zetsu had. Like, he is the fucking reason for it all. In way more detail. He fucking... Oh my god. So I'll get to that later. Hagoromo and Hamada... Well, actually, Hagoromo... Completes his training and earns, well, engage the sage mode power. After he comes back, he confronts his mother, Akakuya. They squabble, and I bring watch Hamada comes into the scene and it's fight. Now, what I can already tell from, you know, this, this episode. People are going to be pissed. People are going to be pissed. You want to know why? Because they rushed through. They rushed through the fight with the Hagoromo and Hamana versus Kaguya fight. Yeah. People are going to be pissed about that. I, I, I can already tell. Fucking Savage already. My Savage Panda already got a review saying, What's the potential? I don't think it's wasted potential, in my opinion. I think it's good to have more backstory on the characters. Have Kaguya have way more backstory and more depth to her character than she ever did in the fucking manga. Because, you know, he were, like, people were complaining that she was the last villain. A villain. Because while she had no depth to her, she had no backstory... There's even a thing that Akisha Mata wanted to do about Akakuya and her castle that Sasuke was going to apparently go and visit. But it didn't ever happen. Even in Boruto the movie, we had these villains who were fucking missing in this episode. They do not understand love. They only understand power. And I fucking think that that one guy on a, on a fucking left corner was Kawi, or who, who the fuck his name is, Kawi, Kawaii, the guy from the Boruto, uh, I think he's the guy from the Boruto, Boruto, generation manga, I think that, that that's him, because if he is, he's the final villain, and that's fucking, Jesus Christ, took you that long, it took you that fucking long just to go to fucking earth? Well, never mind that. But it gives you more depth. Like, this filler may be a filler, but it's a necessary filler, and it's actually can to the story. You're still getting Naruto Sasuke in the episode in the can. People need to... I really understand that you don't want any more filler, but, like, this is a necessary filler if you want to understand more Akakuya's character and to have depth in her character for you to understand her and, and let her become a more, you know, a more sympathetic villain. But do, zoo, do, fucking Zetsu, god damn. Nigga, you don't do that shit. God, he, he planned this out. He planned this out. Nigga had to go burn the earth and plot. Had to get people in the trees and shit. Had to like absorb their chakra. Nigga had to go. Oh, yeah, and one thing. 
So that's where that one guy came from. Um, what's his name? I told him he. I told him that I told him to. God fucking shit. I forgot his name. Told him Nodi or. Yeah, Told him Nodi. So that's where Hagaroma Muhammad is. I wouldn't say his son. Because who would he mate with? Or unless you're like omnisexual, like doing like they can procreate without having a female partner. But yeah, he loves the moon because he loves his mother. Now, I might even get into that. Cause it, it explains how Tonoti is actually you know in the story and how he's on the moon. But Zetsu, he's fucking planning that shit out with Injura and Ashura. Getting Indura. No, actually, uh, Yeah, Indura. Wait, god damn, I forgot which one which. The Sasuke looking one. Oh, yeah, Indura. Getting him all wound up. Putting lights in his head. I want to go fight Ashura. And, 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 and that creates this whole fucking thing in the first place. After that, he's still getting people in the trees and shit. He's he's plotting and everything, trying to he's he trying to he trying to attack down all of the tail beasts, trying to attack down the one with the Magakio shining gun, transforming into the Rinnegan. Fucking goddamn! And finally, he meets fucking Madara, the one who truly, you know. Inherited everything. He, he plotted, and fucking Madara bit off. Yeah, you, you know the story, but he put like the Izumi spell on him. He woke up, put his I think it was Shadow Clone or like this other uh, Limbo Clone, puts him in there, and he just lays there. So that's the course. After that, he puts the Ashra, he throws up Ashra, uh, he throws up Hatrama's, you know, chewed arm that he chewed out, and begins the, what he was going to do, like, you know, prolong his life, have, and put the Hashirama thing into the tree, so he can, like, have the white, print, mass project white set suits. Which are people from the tree. And this is all for the fucking resurrection of Kaguya. Holy fucking shit. God damn. Now that's a fucking master plan. <laughs> and at the end of this episode, you just see that Kaguya is just like, you can, even what, um, even what Ahamura said, she just, like, she's, to your mother, and she's afraid. You know, she was, you know, she was betrayed by her own husband and the people around her. Of course, she's gonna be afraid of other humans. And you know, will will and it takes her sons who put her, who set her up and put her up in the sky on the moon. So this made me really fall for Kalkia as a character. It made me like her character way more than I did in the fucking manga. And yeah, this is, this is my long fucking review. I'm sorry for this long fucking review. But if you enjoy it, please give me a like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Because I'm a, this is my first ever fucking Naruto review. I'm knowing bad. And yeah, I'll get better with time. So yeah, have a good day and let me live. Bye.